Then he should be here in about 10 minutes or so. And then we're going shopping again. I'm so glad you're joining us. Do you wear, do you wear it like that? <laughs> Closer up to your neck. <laughs> like that? So much better than out of that thing. Ah, look everyone, it's Vinny on the spot. You ready? They grow mushrooms out here or something? I don't know. I need to open the window there. Wait a minute. Do you smell that? Yeah, I do. Did you break wind? No, I did not. What is it? It's probably cow manure. Cow manure? Yes, cow manure. When in Rome, do as the Romans. Okay, here's something that we see all the time. This is another thing we see in all the thrift shops. You recognize that glass candy dish. I always love it when we find things in their original packaging. Candy bowl, look at how they're calling it. Uh, when Jeanette made it, antique glass, an an antique classics. Um, and there it is, the Jeanette Glass Company. Hand wash only. And anyway, so. Kind of nice to see it in its original package. Fifteen dollars on that thing. Look at Donald Duck. Is that supposed to be the Kennedys? Yeah. Jackie O. Oh gosh, it sure is supposed to be. I think they're playing um, like cl not klezmer. Um, what what's the Irish? What is it? Um, um, the music that they're playing in here. Not Klezmer. Uh, river dance? Probably, since it is St. Patty's Day. It, th this is today St. Patrick's Day? Today's St. Patrick's oh, Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense if they are playing that. Yeah, well, we're not in a spot where it's too, too loud right now, so... Just trying to film a little bit. This is kind of cute, these little three-piece... Is it three-piece, huh? This little set here? That's kind of neat. Oh, I like that bottle there. With a cut to clear on it. All right. Oh. All right. Is there a sale in this? There unfortunately isn't. What'd you find? So I spotted this oh, very golly. heavily damaged striped <laughs> peach luster creamer. It Cr is only, creamer? Or pitcher, I'm sorry. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Anywho, so it's only $8, but... Oh, and it's got a chippy chip. But I see these all the time. And if I see them all the time, more than likely you do too. So that's why I don't buy them. You mean I do or people do? Everyone Oh, does. yeah, I understand. All of us do. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't really go for them unless it's really unique. Or... I'm kind of the same way. If, I, if it's something that I see in every store, there's no real reason for anybody to buy mine. Because anybody can go to Because you can find it, yeah. Yeah, I think you're, I think unique, 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 unique. Unique New York, unique New York. You know, it's just that one thing. I guess everyone can see it's a Moonstone cup and saucer, but um, I'm going to keep it for myself because, you know, I'm working on a collection of every possible Depression era cup and saucer. And out of all the things I've got, I don't have, one, I don't have a Moonstone cup and saucer. So I do now. 
that'll be that'll be for me to keep. Man, this would be perfect with the mixing bowls, but I don't want to pay fifty dollars for it. I mean, I would if I were collecting it, but uh, it's a good good condition too. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be. I don't think I can do anything with that. I don't know though. You never know, but. Yeah, I uh, wanna wanted to go over there and see those before you pick those up, but I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't go over there and look at them yet. Not a bad price, I don't think. Pair of Dutch theme lamps, twenty five dollars for the pair of Dutch themed lamps. And then three seventy five off because it's twenty yeah. or fifteen percent. Mm hmm. Patented in the USA. Uh huh. You know, I think that I like them. Well, we're still browsing around, and I guess I thought I would let you see some mid-century glass. I know, it seems like uh, it's uh, popular, which is fine. Ooh, that's neat. It's a sailboat, but I don't know the age. That's neat, Vinny. I won't spin the camera around. Maybe we can look at it. Are you going to buy it? It's only seven bucks. I might as well. Uh, oh, is that, there's that little, that angry chicken again. Uh, blue opalescent dish, $20. It has a nice pattern on it. And some new glass. There's another angry chick. milk bottles and some more pretty glass here uh, just for kicks and jollies that basket is fifty nine ninety nine Some Imperial and some Faustoria candlesticks. $9 for the Candlewick and the Baroque pattern. Faustoria is $15 for the pair. $10 on this black glass pair. And my goodness, what a clown. Send in the clowns. Murano style clown dispenser for $50 and some swung vases back there in marigold okay uh, repaint it you could uh, always repaint it not this clock Vinny and I were talking about something else I would never repaint that clock so $50 uh, yeah where's that lamp I know I love that I know I've seen it before in uh, black and green. Yeah, that's really neat. That's awesome. Yeah, the paint always deteriorates on those. Here, move your bottom hand so we can see that. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. And the shade too. Is it $30 for the whole lamp? It is. Yeah. That's a really good price. You know, it really is, in my opinion, and I'm sure people will disagree, when the paint is in such horrible condition like this, it really wouldn't hurt this to remove that paint no. and repaint it. Absolutely. Honestly. Right. Now, it depends on, you know, do you like the old chippy paint look? But something like this, I think, would benefit, really, because the paint is on the inside. Mm -hmm. So you get the effect of the paint. Hmm, I'm talking myself into maybe buying that and repainting it. You should. And I'm the king of leave it the way it is. Oh, yeah, you know me, me too. But something like this, you could, you really could um, repaint that. Like they say, there's always exceptions to the rule when it comes yeah. to certain things. And and I feel like this is an exception to where... Absolutely. It's not like you're refinishing a, a 18th century Philadelphia Chippendale right. something something. Well, I like it, Vinny. Do you want me to go put it with your stuff? Oh, let me, let me crack my wallet. <laughs> what was that? What was oh, that? A lame smile. 
Well, there you go. I think it's like eight ninety nine for the set of three. I think that's what the price says on there. Somebody took good care of it. There's no doubt about that. This is my speed here. From the finial all the way down. Pretty reverse painted glass shade and a really nice base. And the tag says uh, antique lamp and reverse painted shade 219. All right, equal time, right? I guess we'll do, some folks are gonna to wanna to see a close up of this. From the shade all the way down, what does it say? It says, mid-century 1950s by Continental Art Company, Chalkware, original shades, three lamps, firm, $895. And the boat and everything. Well, it makes a statement. All right, I'm in the book dep I don't normally look at, I guess I just don't have, feel like I have time to look at books. Do you guys, there's Paul Revere. What did you find, Vinny? Oh, uh, just some fondue forks with oh, piece handles. What is this? Hard Times. I wonder if that's about the depression. Oh, it is, look. Hard, huh. hard Times, an oral history of the Great Depression. Look at this. It's like a little little tiny lusterware uh, souvenir cup from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey, check this it's out. It's kind of... It's only $8. What? <clears throat> We just spent two hours in that antique mall. Vinny, what was it called again? Black Rose? Black Rose of Hanover. Yeah, we both bought things. I spent more money than he did, which is usually I don't do that. Now, I know some people, uh, this wouldn't be their cup of tea, but I've always liked this print. It's called Rock of Ages, and you'll find it in different forms. It was a popular late Victorian print, or lithograph, rather. Um, it doesn't always look like that. They're, as I said, different artists have different interpretations of it. Sometimes, well, it's usually always uh, someone who's drowning and they're reaching up to uh, the cross, the rock. But you don't always have uh, a female reaching out. Sometimes it's just uh, the person clinging to the rock. I just, I don't know, I like it. That's just me. Okay, well, let's go see what this old frame, this old brass frame, how much is this? Uh, $48. Oh, I'm down on the floor. Hello, piano babies. <laughs> Sitting on your piano stool, on your piano stool. Uh, pair of piano babies. $35. And they're big babies. That doesn't seem outrageous. Let's see if we have any marks on the bottom. 
No. But I usually find these in need of some kind of repair. Where they've been uh, damaged, but I don't see any problems with those. Okay. Very nice. Wow, look at all that green northwood up there. I haven't seen so much of that. Wow. Very nice. 15% off. Look at all of these punch cups. Is that, how many is that? Is that a dozen? Uh, 12, yeah, 12 frosted mugs. Yellow, green, and pink. It's only $24 for all of those. That's a really good price. Uh, and what am I going to do? Then? Am I going to get it? No, I'm not going to get it. Would you get it? I don't know what else I can do. Yeah, I'm not going to buy it. I think, uh, yeah, I think the challenge is that it's sort of like punch cup size. And the whole punch cup thing is tough, although they're, they're definitely... Um, they have a neat mid-century look, and I know people are going to flip out over these, um, but at $24, I would need to sell those. What would you need to sell those for to make a decent, I mean, to make enough of a profit to make it worthwhile business-wise? Maybe like 65 or 70. Yeah, I would need to, because of the wrapping and the packing and the weight and everything, you'd have to get... You know, in other words, if you paid twenty four ninety five and just sold them for thirty five, it would be. Yeah, it's a. If you're gonna put it in an antique store, it's a lot easier. I do. I like them a lot, though. But I don't want to do all that wrapping and packing if I was able to sell them. I don't know. I guess maybe if the punch bowl came with it. What are you doing? And a video of me wearing these glasses. Oh, let's see what you look like. Oh. <laughs> well, I can actually see through them, which is pretty impressive. Because usually I can't see anything out of these. Well, anyway. Ooh. How about break them? I love those punch cups, and I don't normally gravitate towards the 50s and the 60s. I guess it's just the colors are so uh, inviting. All right, I'll head in this direction, I guess. Look, I'm showing everybody what's in your cart. Oh, that's, you could have shared, I don't care. Wow, look at all the cream and green and 15% off items, $20 and over except firm so there's double boilers and big pots and even here all the little uh utensils and then the there's other stuff the blue and white if you like that the marble looking stuff Vinny uh was attracted to this and i didn't even see it look at that back there isn't that unique in red and white to hang on the wall that's 115 And then there's a cake. Is this that should that's not connected to that, is it? Oh gosh, that that's huge. Three-tiered toll painted pie cookie carrier. Boy, you could get a lot in that. I thought it was a cake carrier was sitting on top of a pot. That's all one thing, Vinny. The whole thing is? Yeah. Huh. That whole see that? Yeah. Wow. So anyway, this, what else? Country, primitive things, right? But the legit old stuff, not all that. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Stuff. From, um, uh, nickel, what is, needle store display. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Vinny and I are trying to figure out what these things are. Vinny thinks that you, that, what does Vinny think? I thought it was something that you put, like, on your neck, maybe? We're making an instructional video, because we don't know what this is. Do you, do you wear it like that? <laughs> Closer up to your neck. <laughs> like that? Maybe like an old school collar. Oh. Oh, it goes around a lamp. That makes more sense. I thought you wear it to the beach like I, that. Or like an old Victorian collar. It wouldn't look very good on me. Definitely not on me either. You think it's an old Victorian collar and this is all they wore? Well, I mean, That's with a why dress. They had so many kids. <laughs> I don't think. Reproductions made in China. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Now that it see now that has nothing on the bottom of it. Uh, the ribs look and feel different. The lid, the lid is completely different, and so is the way the letters are done. But it's nice to see the Taiwan on. The, oops, I didn't have it in the. There's the Taiwan. But even without that sticker there, boy, sneaky, sneaky. Don't you think? There's a loud uh, heater that's next to us. Is this more doll? Is there dollhouse furniture in here? No. No, I'm still trying to find some for my little house. Still working on it. These are ten dollars. Oh, one's broken. Never mind. Their heads came off. No, she's like completely broken right here. Oh wow, she her whole body. She had Did you collect Pez, Vinny? The really old Pez, yes. I have one of those little magazines. There's some furniture, not quite what I'm looking for. It's nice and quiet in here. I don't want to disturb the peace. Uh, this is an indoor flea market on a Saturday morning. Oh, the Pilgrim's Progress. I guess I'll let you see all the way through the back. Vinny, would you say where we are? Because I know that people will want to know. Um, well, no. Foothill think... Flea in Mercersburg. Foothill Flea in Mercersburg, Pennsylvania? Yes. Okay. Okay, look at the candlesticks. And, uh, all right, who is this from literature? Looks like they're breaking up. Are they breaking up? It's flow blue, but I can't. What is it? Ivanhoe. Oh, I was just thinking about these the other day when people make uh, wind chimes out of old silverware. Oh, there's a pretty piece. Isn't that a piece of McCoy? Maybe it's not. McCoy wheat vase, $44. It's nice looking. All right. There's a lot to see in here. Check this thing out. It either was, um, you know, maybe home built for somebody's home hairdo parlor, or maybe it actually came out of a, an old beauty shop. Oh, look at that. That's They stick their head in there, don't they, to get a mm -hmm. uh, rinse and set? Yeah. What do you call it? Rinse and shampoo. Rinse and shampoo. I wonder if, I bet somebody made this. Look how Look how country it looks. It's a good price too for it. 
if you're if you're into this sort of thing. Well, I'm not into it. I know you're not. I bet somebody, maybe, you think it was like a home, somebody did hair out of their house. Probably, this was in their basement, maybe. Yeah. Look at this, I love the scalloped sides here. That whoever it is, who put, whoever built this thing did that. Well, you know I love me a console set. And here is one. I have to talk, talk, talk because they got Enya blaring in here. I love me some Enya. Anyway, this says $58 priced firm. And let me get in focus. There's the candlesticks and the center bowl. Hello. I love how they hover, sort of just like they hover over the table like they're going to take off. Uh, I don't know where we are now. I forget. Somewhere in uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania, but um, I wanted to show you that console set. Right. Vinny and I are trying to figure out what these things are. Vinny thinks that you that. What does Vinny think? I thought it was something that you put, like, on your neck. Maybe We're making an instructional video because we don't know what this is. Do you wear, do you wear it like that? <laughs> Closer up to your neck. Like that? Maybe like an old school it collar. Goes around a lamp that's oh. Around. Oh, it goes around a lamp. That makes more sense. I thought you wear it to the beach like I've, that. I like an old Victorian it. collar. It wouldn't look very good on me. Definitely not on me either. You think it's an old Victorian collar and this is all they wore? Well, I mean, that's with why a dress. They have so many kids. <laughs> I don't think.